Hello, I'm Joan, and I wanted to share one of my gardens with you. I have three. A few months ago, I wanted to start planting a garden, and my first thought was what kind of gardens were in the Bible, and the Garden of Gethsemane was the first thing that I thought of. At night, when the garden is lit up, you can see the flowers and all the pebbles that I have in my walkway, and it just kind of reflects a feeling of coldness and even loneliness. And I've had a few times in my life where I can tell you I can relate to the feelings that Jesus probably felt in the garden. I'm sure that he felt alone. And when he was at the lowest point there was to be, he prayed. He prayed in the garden just before he was arrested and beaten and crucified. He prayed that whatever lay ahead of him, if it could pass from him, he, he sure didn't want to have to go through what laid ahead of him. But he added to it that this was God's will. And usually whenever I pray to God, I, I kind of leave that out. I don't say, God, if it's your will, I just kind of ask him for what I want. But Jesus' agony, his pain was so great that he, he sweat drops of blood. So I kind of built this right here just to remind me that I'm never alone. And usually whenever I am a broken mess and things aren't right, I can always call out to God. And he hears me no matter where I am. He even hears my prayers. So that's, that's very comforting for me to know if God loves me and he cares about me, then I'm, I'm in good hands. That's something for us to all remember. So if you ever have your own place where you feel lonely and you just feel blue and tired and there's nobody there, just remember Jesus was in that place too.